I've been thinking about how to improve this area right here and I had several ideas for example adding a background image or as we saw in our uh, mock-up in Illustrator to actually add an image right here and then make this diagonal shape steeper but in the process of thinking about what to do and what to showcase uh, in in this layout i realized that there is this one pretty interesting technique and i want to share it with you and there's a lot of new things involved so i hope you will get a lot of uh, knowledge out of it so i've decided to start off with introducing font awesome and how we can use it in a bit different way from what you can see on most sites so to begin let's open the visual studio code and we'll work with our layout the only one that we've got right now and that's the default layout so i'll copy the link to the bootstraps css and i'll paste it right in here and of course since i'm referencing font awesome i'm gonna add another link right here and this time i'll be using a cdn which is content delivery network and this cdn is bootstrapcdn.com slash font awesome so i'll simply double click everything and i'm already seeing this message copied text to clipboard so now back in here i can simply control v to paste it in view toggle word wrap and finally i'm gonna go file save all so now i can actually add font awesome icons to my uh to my layout however where do I, where to add it and how to add it uh well this time i'm going to be actually using a pseudo class in css so i'm simply going to type dot jambatron which is a regular class and then I'm gonna use a column and I'm gonna say after and here I'll actually type all the uh, properties that I need in order to make this work so I'll go with content and now I'll actually add some content inside these double quotes and the content that I'm going to add, I've got this FA handshake uh, icon and I want to add it as sort of, a, we can say a background image, even though it's not a background image, it's actually an icon. So that's why I'm using this pseudo class to actually make it look like it's a background image. And you can see all the icons at fontawesome.io. Then if you go to icons and click all icons, you'll be able to see a list of all icons and then you can see the individual icons. Actually, to make sure that you guys actually know what I'm talking about, let's go through the whole process. So first I'm gonna visit fontawesome.io and now I'll actually go to the icons right here, icons and I'm gonna see all icons. And now I'll even hold down the control key and scroll the mouse wheel forward to zoom in a little bit so I can see it better. And finally, let's just find this handshake that I was talking about earlier. And now that it opens it right here, I can zoom out a little bit. And I want to use the Unicode representation of this icon. So when I double click the Unicode and hit control C, I've just copied it in my memory, in my computer memory, and now I can just press Control V to paste it in. And back in here, I'm gonna edit a few more um, CSS properties. So I'll go font-family is gonna be, of course, font awesome. And I'm gonna say position, position absolute next i'll say that the font size is going to be huge 
So font size is going to be 50 rem, responsive M's. And I'll give it a transparent color by adding RGBA with A being alpha or transparency. So R stands for red, G for green, B for blue, and A is alpha with one for alpha specified as full color and everything below one uh, increases the level of transparency. Uh, and when you get to zero, of course, uh, transparency is complete, so you can't see anything. So at this time, I'll say 255, 255, 255, and I'll say 0 0.2. Of course, you can also use a zero in front of a point to make it more obvious, but you don't have to. And finally, I'll say top minus 250 pixels and left 200 pixels. So now I'm actually positioning absolutely this icon. So it will say stay in place no matter what. So now that I've done all of this, I'll go file, save all, back to my page and let's open the uh, running Jackal server. It's just regenerated the file. So now I can go refresh and I've got F2B5. And for some reason, I don't, I haven't received my, my icon. So let's make sure that we've saved everything. Default has got the link. So it should be working properly. So let's just try it again. And for some reason it's not happening here. So let's just control C and repeat the last command. See what's going to happen. This time it should be working, but just to make sure in my main CSS content is okay of course between the double quotes and the actual unicode for the icon you need to add a backslash so now that i've added this backslash it's very important not to forget it i'll go file save all go back here and now when i press refresh i'm going to get that same icon only this time it's going to be quite larger and if we go inspect Jumbotron right now, we can actually zoom out a little bit and you can't really see it right here, but there is a way to see it and to uh, change it. You can do it several ways. You can go main SCSS and you can see it right here or you can do it another way and let's just go back here so you can simply choose this one so it says div class container and then this container has got the jumbotron because it's inside the jumbotron and when you click the after here you'll get this access to this icon so now you can for example use the shifts down uh, rule to make it smaller and see what it looks like or to make it bigger if you'd like um, you can also here unfortunately you can't use the increase because it'll go by increments of one so you actually have to type it in for example five to make it less transparent or zero to make it completely transparent or 0 0.1 to make it look uh, like that uh, also, you can change the top and bottom positions. You can even turn it off to see what's, what's going to happen if you just simply, you see the tip right here. So, um, I suggest you just leave it at, as is. And that, in a nutshell, is how we've just added our font awesome icon to our layout. Okay, so in the next video, We'll deal with the nav bar a little bit.